Hey, Bolo Buddies, I have a featured seller video for you guys. I kind of got away from doing these and I am back. So I posted in my Facebook group requesting that three people message me if they'd like to be featured. I am going to feature Bill Stoner. He has a great store. You guys are going to see some awesome bolos, so stay tuned. These are items you can be on the lookout for at thrift sales, garage sales, places like that. I said thrift sales. I mean thrift stores. All right, you guys, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. As I go into his store and I look at his solds and I find some of his higher solds or items that I think are interesting it will help you guys learn. So I want to thank the owner for doing this. Um, let me pull up the screen share here. And I want to show you guys, he does have a YouTube channel. It's a reseller channel. So definitely go that out it is Billner. I will also link that in the description of the video. His store is Your Deal Auctions. So that's his eBay store, which I will also link down below. So you guys, basically this way for other sellers to help you guys learn, but it also gives you the opportunity to check out their YouTube channel if they have one or check out their eBay store. So definitely go down that link and go in and see what else they're selling. Maybe check out their solds. So um, definitely show your support that way because it takes them time to get me this information and I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's get started here with some bolos. All right, the first item is Mall Madness and I have talked about this one before. Now, the cool thing about this one is it's not complete. So he says, missing some pieces. He paid a dollar at the Goodwill and sold it for $64.48 plus shipping. And like he's saying here, some that are complete and in good condition can go for over a hundred. So um, there are different um, mall madness. So make sure you look it up if you find one, they're not all bolos, but if you find this one, definitely, definitely grab it. All right, the next item we have, Precious Moments Nativity. I find that nativity items just sell really well. I have a tendency to pick them up. So when I saw this, I was like, I would have picked this up for sure. So he, um, this was part of a huge collection that he bought for $160. He said there are several hundred pieces. He said he put up a video about it on his channel and he sold this for $80 with free shipping. So if you want to learn more about these precious moments, definitely go check out that video. All right, this risk um, it looks like it's a board game, I believe. Let me see what category it's under. Uh, maybe. Yeah, so it's a board game and it looks like it's sealed in the brand new packaging here. So um, I do have a video on board games that are bolos. It's a bolo category video. So you guys can definitely go check that out on my YouTube channel. He says he got this for $3 at an auction and it sold for $110 plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout. It says risk God storm the game of earthly domination and beyond sealed guys. I think I'd pick up any game that was sealed. That was vintage. I don't know if this is vintage or discounted. You know what I mean? Okay. Check out these high tops. These are like super high tops. Nike Air Force One women's size 8X XV. I'm sure that's a number. I don't know what number it is. Sorry. But anyway, he got it from a storage unit clean out for free zero dollars and he sold it for 60 plus shipping. The next item is this Pipka Santa's toy. Santa memories of Christmas. So it's a display. Here's the bottom. It's 319 out of 3,200. So Pipka, P-I-P-K-A, not one I've heard of, but I'm definitely going to be looking for it. Um, came from a box of Christmas items from an auction. He paid $5 for it and he sold this for $55 plus shipping. He said this was broken by the post office and had to file a claim. So that's unfortunate. It arrived at the... Um, 
buyer's home broken, unfortunately. Man, that's a bummer. That would be a hard piece to ship. And, you know, they're not always real friendly with some of the packages. Okay, guys, this is a 1997 Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's a, oh, gosh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. Gija, Giga, 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 G-I-G-A, pet. <laughs> All right. Uh, this was from a storage unit cleanout. Another one from the key ring. Um, sold for $68.40 with free shipping. I also had to clean and test all of these and installed new batteries. So when he says all of these, I'm going to show you here shortly another one that sold for big money. So very, very cool. So this is a Cramps Vintage Punk Rock Band t-shirt. Size small. There's your tag. And it's kind of crazy looking. I don't know what cramps is. Maybe it's a punk rock band. It's a punk rock band. I just answered my own question. This he got from a storage unit clean out and he sold it for $40 with free shipping. The next item is this hand carved fist. Check it out. How cool is that? He paid $3 at an auction and he sold it for $40 plus shipping. Never seen anything like that. Very cool. The next item he sold are these Pez dispensers. I also have a video on um, Pez dispensers. It's a Bolo category video. It kind of tells you what to look for when you're looking at Pez dispensers because they are not all created equally. Some can go for like over a thousand dollars and then others are bread and butter. He sold this lot for, let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see what he paid for it. Vintage Pez paid $4 for a large box full at an auction. This saw, uh, lot sold on a seven-day auction for $71 free shipping. And he said, I'm editing a video and Pez should be up soon. So definitely check out his channel and look for that video. Also, mine is up now if you guys want to check that out. Um, but he may have different information than me. So um, I did, mine was, uh, I'm not a Pez dispenser. Um, I don't know tons about it. I had to do some research for the video. So he may know more than me for sure. All right, the next item is this Health Master Blender. It's the replacement with the tamper lid. And he got this. My order got a little bit out of, okay, here we go. Paid $5 at an auction. Motor did not work correctly, so sold as parts. Sold for $22 plus shipping. This was a large item, so shipping was so much, was as much as it sold for. So he ended up taking a uh, lower offer because the shipping was so high for the buyer. The next item, Department 56 Christmas in the City Church, came from an auction. He paid $3 for it, and it sold for $49.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this graphing calculator and it looks like it's tested and working with the cover. And I sold one of these that I got out of a mystery box from a giveaway that I won from Harry Tornado. It's in one of my videos, but mine was pink and it did not have the cover and it was still a bolo without the cover, just FYI. So he paid $3 at an auction for this and sold it for $60 free shipping. The next item he sold is this cowboy, it's a straight razor, and I don't know what the, is that just like a case for it? Hmm. Partial box. I'm not really sure exactly. It says no nicks, very sharp. So it's a razor. Ooh. Check that out. Check that out. Okay, so he got this at an auction for three bucks and he sold it for $45 free shipping. The next item is this 1945, it's a TS-13E radio handset radio. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a cord for one of those old telephones. And I'm like, oh cool, he just sold like the top of the phone. But now I'm reading it and it's not what I thought it was. But this is still cool. And he got this. What is this thing called? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, 
maybe I missed this one. Just a second. I'm so sorry. Okay, here it is. Bought two of these in a lot for $4 at an auction. Sold for $25 plus shipping. Then, okay, this is what I was telling you about. He must have got a bunch of these. This one is Rugrats, and it's a Jija, Jiga, I don't know, but it's Rugrats, Nickelodeon, and this one, he uh, was the storage cleanout also. He sold it for 40 with free shipping. He said, I found a bunch of different ones all on a big keychain in a box at a storage unit. Oh my goodness. I have some. I think he sold one. I think I have it. I'm going to show you here in a minute. The, like the one I sold that is definitely a Bolo. Okay. These Nike Air Force One Valentine's Day red pink heart shoes. These he paid $3 for it in auction. Sold on a seven day auction for $169.48 plus shipping. He said this was the second time I ran the auction. The first time they were at a of zero or there were a lot of zero feedback bidders and the winning bidder was in France and didn't pay. The first time they sold for $355. So $355, but non-paying buyer, they're paid. So. Okay, these are vintage Levi's for gals. So they're big E pants, but they're um, a size 24, 26. So I believe that's like a girl's size 26, but they are big E vintage. How cool is that? All right. These came from a storage unit cleanout. So he paid $0 for it and sold for a best offer of $50 free shipping. So maybe I should call this video he got it free because he got so many items free. It's awesome. Okay, Nike E, Nike, Air Jordan, Air Force One. Okay, these came from a storage unit clean out. Guess how much? Free. And he sold them for $84 free shipping. Okay, so this is an Escort Solo cordless radar and laser detector. And he paid $3 at an auction. This was from the police impound and he sold it for $160 free shipping. So that's a type of auction I've never been to. That would be cool. All right, this Sony camera. So it is a camcorder, not camera, camcorder with remote and cables. And he got this at the Salvation Dollars and he sold it for $139.48. And I guess I didn't pull the other one up. I'm trying to think of what the other brand was. It's like Tamagotchi or something like that. I know he sold one. But yeah, definitely be on the lookout for those. Okay, so here is his store, Your Deal Auctions. And his YouTube channel is just his name, Bill Stoner. And definitely go check out his... I was trying to think... What was the... He said he did one on the Precious Moments. I don't see it through there. You might have to go and actually uh, search for it. So definitely go check that out. Again, the links will be down in the description of the video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. There should be some other videos that are going to pop up on both sides. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.